So here we have a fortress that's being attacked by some purple death goo that is spawning on the map and we need to protect it. First, we need to set up some pylons so we can reach down to this low area over here and then we can set up some mines to get some additional resources. And the purple goo is flowing over the map, very slowly reaching us. But we also have some clear goo that's reaching out and should hopefully clear it all out. Well, maybe not all of it, but it'll hold it at bay for a little while while we get set up. And it slowly rejuvenates with more. And then once it reaches this tile here, there should be more of it that comes in. Hopefully so, because the purple goo is already there. Oh yes, there it goes. It's taking out that choke point right there. That pylon is set up and yes, we have a mine in production. Good. Now we need to reach another pylon out to here so we can set up some defenses. For now, we'll start with some cannons because they're cheap and easy. And it looks like the mines are going to finish production before it starts on those, which is actually good because now we're generating more than we're using. Although I'm really worried about this corner over here because look at how high that is. That's gonna cause a tsunami once that gets released. So let's get a few more mines in probably. Ooh, it sounds like the cannons are working. Yes, they're beating back the purple creep, because that's what it's called. And we need to reach some pylons up to here to get advantage of this stuff, which also means we need defenses over here. Oh dear, one of those emitters is about to go. Oh, but even more mines are in production. Yes, that really helps our energy generation. And now both the pylon and the cannon are being built. Very good. Let's also bring in some mortars if we can and give it the high ground. That should let it reach an even bigger area and this cannon will help keep the creep back while we set up up here on this hill. Oh gosh, the creep is almost through that last layer of the shield. This is about to be rough. Need even more defenses. Okay, I think that was the spore launcher. Just got released. All right, we also need to set up a refinery so we can get this green stuff getting to be used. And the wave is here, oh boy. That is gonna hurt very bad. We need a lot more defenses. But now we're refining the blue stuff and creating some anti-creep bullets that we can use, which is really good for the sprayer. We probably need some pylons over here as well. So let's set up a network like so, which gives us access to more blueite and another sprayer over there. Some more defenses going up. Ooh, and the anti-creep reached this spawner tile thing. Yes, we're actually almost to this emitter. Maybe we should clear out that, but we have bigger concerns to worry about. Okay, now we're getting some more of this, whatever that tile is. So let's hurry and set up some shields next to all of our production over here and probably over here as well. Oh gosh, the spore launcher went again. It's going right into the anti-creep. That's not gonna work for you. Okay, but that generated a lot of creep right there. Hopefully we are strong enough in our defenses. Oh, speaking of, it's time to put it to the test. The big tsunami's here, but at least we have the shields up, so that should protect us a little while. Now we just need constant production of the green stuff, which it looks like it's constant, and we're getting some more of the whatever that stuff is. So let's set up more defenses on this way because we're gonna need a lot of them. And we need to keep protecting this tile because that means more anti-creep spawns like that. But we're also kind of neglecting this side over here. I feel like this turret's in trouble because he's sticking his foot out like the hokey pokey. But let's get some mortars set up on the edge of the cliff here. That should protect that side pretty well. Oh, it's so high. That's higher than the shield. Oh gosh, the shield's in trouble. I need more guns over here, but I can't, I don't have space to build any of them. And where I can build, it's already being overrun. Oh dear. And the tsunami has started to wrap around this side. At least this shield looks like it's doing well. I need to protect these pylons, I just realized, because if that gets cut off, then the whole network goes down. Oh, spore launcher is going again. You are so annoying. And sadly, these mortars are not in range to do any good. I should probably set up a pylon to go down here so I can reach even more area. That looks good. A nice crisscross network like that. Oh no, we lost this emitter. Spawn tile thing. I know these are called emitters. Okay, the mortars are starting to defend over here. That's good news. And we can build on top of this hill again. So let's get a mortar going there. And then cannon on this side to protect the tower. I'm liking the looks of this. There's more stuff that's gonna be flowing down, but we're actually holding up pretty well. The problem is our generation is, oh, we're currently in a deficit. That's not good, we need more mines. And thankfully that pylon in front of the resource tiles can reach these mines to build them. So our deficit really hurts, but it's gonna be solved pretty soon. We just need to hold the line here. And I think we are holding the line actually. 
good. There we go. Those mines are going. And let's just finish off this row, hopefully. We'll get them in place over there because we will need a tower set up over here, probably. Ooh, that's a nice cross network. And we'll just set up more cross networks like this because we need to start pushing this way and take out one of those emitters, which we can do by just selecting the cannon and moving it right in front of the tower to protect it. Hopefully it gets there soon. Oh, that just targeted the anti-creep spawner directly. That was dumb. Tell you what's not dumb, though. These cannons are working exceptionally well. And I should probably get a mortar going up here. Yes, because more creep is going over there. It doesn't look like there's any more big tsunamis coming in, except for, okay, right now. But, oh, that mortar just got wrecked. Was it sticking out of the shield? Oh, no, the creep is reaching into the shield. That spider needs to do its job, which thankfully it looks like it is. Let's move the mortar a little bit back. That should protect it better. Oh, no, we just lost that tower. I forgot to move things to it. That's fine. We need more defenses over here anyway. The problem is those shields chew up a lot of those yellow blocks. It looks like we're even on production. We have a lot of this green stuff that I, I'm not too sure sure what to do with to be honest i can build a rocket sure let's build a rocket while more spore things are launching and that's targeting the cannon directly i'll just move that out of the way for a little bit it's not even doing anything so maybe i should move it over here to hold the line i was a little worried in the beginning but i think we're doing pretty well even the tidal waves aren't doing too much more to us and our weapons are actually really close to that emitter there except it's super deep in the creep Oh, and when the emitters do that, that's very not good. Okay, that, that's a lot. Why are you doing so much? Stop, Stop it. it. That is going to be dangerous. Oh, but the rocket only needs 100 units to finish building. And then we can do stuff with it. Okay, that mission was rough, but it looks like they actually are holding their ground really well. That's good. And is the sniper doing things? I think the sniper's doing things. It's pointed. Oh, that was the other thing. The eggs release payloads. Okay. I haven't exactly touched this game before today. Cut me a bit of slack. All right, let's get some more mines down just because we have the free space here. It's chewing up a lot of our generation, but we do have the resources to build at least one of them. But I do need to build more sprayers because the fact that we're not gaining a lot of ground is kind of annoying. Oh, but yes, now we're starting to fund the rocket. I like the sounds of that because orbitals sound very good. Creating quite the crisscross network here. Beating back liquids with 5G and the rocket is launched! So we have some good things going for us at least. Oh yes, and we have orbitals. So we have damper, singularity available to us right now. Should we just see what singularity does? What if we target here? Okay, we just launched the thing down and oh. Okay, is that a good thing? I don't know if that's a good thing. It's pulling creep away from other areas. Oh, it's slowly... We're, we're getting the emitter revealed. Quick, build cannons. Yes, the emitter is revealed. Oh, and the egg just got sniped. This is good. This is good. The emitter is exposed. If only I had cannons, I could shoot it. Oh, and all the creep actually just got released. Ooh, but we do have cannons that are able to shoot it now. Hold it back. Hold it back. It almost looks like it's working. It's working. Ooh, I like orbitals. Fund another one, please, which is actually pretty soon. And this front is holding pretty well. So once these cannons push through, we should be able to target the emitter if we just stick a mortar right here. Sure. Fly over the battlefield, brave mortar. More destruction right at the front of things. Ooh, yes. Hit the emitter directly if you please. There we go. I think we're in the process of nullifying it. Or do we need to hit, a nu hit it with a nullifier? Probably that. So we get it going here while it's being suppressed. Oh, protect it from the creep that's going in. Need this cannon moved more up. There we go. It's charging. It's charging. And yes, we're nullifying the emitter. Oh, excellent. How much is that using? Oh, we're actually out of that stuff. That's not good. We need another refinery going over here to capture this crystal's goodness. And then, you know, cannons to protect it would also be kind of appreciated. But now we are creating a lot of headway because this emitter is nullified, which should also mean eggs stop flowing to it, I hope. Now we'll start to advance this way to nullify this emitter. And then once we own like this entire third of the field, we can strategize a lot better. Also, I don't like how high that gets because then it just does that. Oh, good. We have more rockets. Oh, I forgot about the rain that I got. Let's try that out. We're moving over here. So let's just spray it with some rain. 
because the rain should be good, right? Whoa! <laughs> the rain is very good. Oh, that is glorious. And that's clearing up all the tiles so our refinery can be working. Not tiles, the crystals. That is what I needed. Wow, and it just keeps going. Oh, that was wonderful. Let's take advantage of this opportunity and build some defenses. That one isn't being reached by anything. I need another pylon over here. And we uncovered this anti-creep tile. Yes! A new ally has joined the fight. Or come back to it because we had that before. But we're getting even closer to this emitter here. That's a lot of eggs. I need a sniper over here, which is also going to be painful because that's a lot of payloads going to be released. So let's get more defenses going up over here, giving all the mortars the high ground. And then once that sniper is built, it'll go to town very, very quickly. Like so. And there it goes. Oh gosh, so many at once. Sniper, you're way too efficient. Ooh, but look, we have five orbitals. Oh, excellent. We can do conversion thing. Not too sure what that looks like. Let's do it over this neutral tile here. So it launches it. Oh, it just converted all the creep to anti-creep. Now we own that tile. Yes. Oh, yes. That was glorious. I don't know how long it's going to last, though. We should probably expand that way. Oh, good. And that creep is actually getting pretty close to touching that tower. We should protect it with another mortar. That's close enough to actually target the emitter, I believe. Yes, target the emitter directly. Now we're just a few spots away from being able to set up the diffuser or the nullifier, like so. Come on, mortar, just protect it. Now you're supposed to protect the building of it. Maybe we need a sprayer up there, one that's already built so it can move. There, now we can set up the nullifier. Now, ah, come on. Okay, fine, I'll just build it down here so it's safe because there's way too much anti-creep for it to get hurt. And yes, we have a second sprayer nullified and shift all of our defenses to fight the front. And we'll start by attempting to relieve this neutral zone so it can start working for us. So many good things are happening. And we have rain again. Oh, but we actually went away from conversion. We should have fun with that. We're moving a lot of units. Let's increase the move speed. I can't quite tell if the move speed is faster, but it seems like it. Anyway, we have conversion available. So let's assist our friends over here and just convert this holy square area holy thing. Square. Yes, and then quickly move in to protect it. This might have been a bad call, but it was kind of fun to do because now the anti-creep is spawning out of there. So now I can fight back against the creep a little better, even if we might lose a sprayer there. Oh, until the mortar protects it anyway. So I'm guessing the neutral square duplicates whatever thing has greater presence on it. And right now it's all anti-creep, which is good. And the sniper here isn't really being used for anything. Is there another emitter somewhere? The only one that's left is over here, aside from the four that are in the main area. So let's move our sniper over here because we're going to need it in a little while. Oh, but look at that. This anti-creep tile is almost exposed. Come on. Yes, it's touching. Yes, it's duplicating the anti-creep. This is working very well. Can another pylon actually work down here? No, that top pylon literally has no purpose, but it looks fun up there. But we can start to wrap our network down over this way because we need to move that way. And tell you what, rain sounds really good at the top of this hill. Yes, clear it all out. Can I even see what's bombing it up there? Zooming way out. No, Oh, it's just way above me. But now the top of the hill's exposed. Quick, bring in more mortars. Claim it. Well, now we have another rain stratagem thing again. You can tell what game I've been playing because I use that word. There we go. There we go. Okay, that should give us a bit more breathing room. And beautiful. We're defending the top of the hill. I'm also not sure why this game has pterodactyls in it, but here they are. They've just been kind of flying around like they do. Now, the problem is this hilltop doesn't have a whole lot of real estate on it. So we need to be a little wise about where we put our defenses. Besides, you know, putting a mortar right in the middle because obviously, and now more more guns need to be moved up here because they're not doing any good otherwise. And more spore shots are coming in, but they get quickly squashed. Oh, you poor thing. You're The only thing you're really good for at this point is egg production, which gross. Oh, but look at this. We have almost half of the map conquered now. Excellent. Oh, but look, both of these nodes are exposed. That means we can put a pylon down here and start to harvest it. Yes, more for the cause. So, oh my, this will be a test about how well we can stop the creep from flowing down the hill. Because that's about to be a lot released. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm probably going to need more over here. No particular reason. All right, let's try and give ourselves a little bit of a head start by calling down rain on these two <laughs> generators oh, here. Yes, oh. yes. Oh, it, it pierces all the way down? That is powerful. I need to get some sprayers over there so anti-creep can go in. This is looking a lot better. All right, it's starting to emit some creep again, but we got some good headway going. Although I do wonder, would rain 
destroy the eggs. And it doesn't look like the eggs get destroyed, which is too bad, but oh, you know what? I should have moved the sniper into position first. Ooh, or they are getting destroyed. Look at that. Or that was the emitter. I honestly don't know. But hey, sniper showing up while this is going underway is very beneficial. Maybe. That's a lot of exit shooting. Okay, I think I might have been a little overzealous. Sniper, get out of here. You're doing way more harm than good right now. Wah! Oh gosh, and that turret, it needs to move like immediately. This cannon might need to as well. Oh dear, it's still getting hurt. It's still getting hurt. Come on, defend, you can do it. Oh, that was, look at the waves it's shooting out. This is not my intention. Okay, so that emitter is going to be way more difficult than anything else. Neat. How are those waves going? Uh, they've reached the back wall and they're bouncing back. Oh, yikes, that's a big tidal wave. Hey. This is a good time to bring in a shield again out of pure necessity. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, but shield is, yes, it's up and running. Whew, that was close. Okay, it looks like if the eggs don't have any creep around them, then they unleash their payload. But wow, the mortars quenched it quick. All right, but ooh, okay, maybe when that big wave is going up, then we convert it and wha-bam, yes, so much. <laughs> That's a huge mountain of creep right there. Oh my gosh, these things need to work overtime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was amazing. But I was right though, it converted the entire pile into anti-creep. Okay, and now, you know, we should actually be able to put a nullifier in range of this thing finally. One less emitter is always, okay, yep, there was an egg right there. We don't talk about it. Oh yes, now the nullifier's up. Come on, get your charge, get charged. Be large and charged. Here, let's call down a rain and make it a bit easier for us. There we go. Beat back that tidal wave before it gets crazy. Now comes the hard part. Working our way up this hill. Okay, to aid our efforts going up the hill, we should take on these breeder spots finally. So everything gets moved down the hill. We also need some infrastructure down the hill. And here, let's help out the anti-creep by making a rain over those tiles as well. There, now it should be nullified and never get used again. And it seems like these crystals are what's causing the creep to turn into a different color and thus be harder to destroy. Would rain work to destroy those crystals, I wonder? Let's just target it right there and see what happens. Okay, it hit the crystal directly, which is good, but the crystal still has a lot of health. In fact, it's full health. Well, at the very least, the less creep going that way, the better it is for us. Although, the anti-creep is still having just as good of a time against the purple stuff as the normal creep. So maybe we need more of these sprayers going in this direction. Ooh, that seems to be working. Oh, we need more of those. Yes, the sprayers are working against the anti- or the crimson creep. Oh yes, we uncovered a thing. Oh, is that- is that both of them? That was both of them. Wow. Well, I might as well just fill in the rest of these things. So now we're getting all the bonuses. Good. Oh, there it goes. It's releasing. So we dropped a conversion here. All that becomes the anti-creep, which will give us a little more time to work with. And we can sort of close the gap here. Now, sadly, all the anti-creep is going to go away, but at least it reduces the amount of creep that is over here. Oh, or it just has enough to produce more of itself. Very good. Hey, this anti-creep spawner is actually keeping itself. Oh, that's amazing. And we have reclaimed a nice amount of the map. That's what I like to see. Now, what I worry about the most is the sheer volume of eggs are, that are over here because there's 500 of them. But since we have good and frankly numerous defenses on our side, maybe we can call down a rain on there just to pop a few of them at a time, especially since that stash just emptied. This is looking really good. Okay, some eggs are popping. I can see that. It's looking very good. Things are being reduced. And it's not too uncontrollable of a wave. Oh my gosh, look at our factory. It's stocked up on everything. That is amazing. Ooh, especially since we can move some more sprayers up here that use the anti-creep solution. Yes, we're carving our way forward. Oh, and look, the anti-creep is starting to flow up to this cliff. That's really beneficial. Oh, and it's about to do it again, yes. And then we'll get more pylons going up here in this direction, as well as this direction. Look at this pylon network we have wow. built so far. This is a heck of a web. I wish I could just pick up a large amount of this anti-creep here and just dump it out here. But I guess that's what the conversion is for. So now I wonder what sort of effect this has on the crimson creep. 
Let's just do it right there, because that's the biggest one. And boom! Ooh, it turned it all to anti creep. Wow! That's fun. That's a great opportunity to build some more things, as well as move things up to defend it. Or maybe not good. It's starting to get overrun. Oh no, fall back. Maybe we'll just work on containing the crimson and then work on the regular stuff, because we're actually starting to clear this plateau up here. And we're starting to expose this purple grid, which I'm not sure what that is. And now we just get some more creep up here on this field. And that crimson creep is pretty much contained. I like it. Now we need to get some more mortars up here to push back on this final climb here. And we do have enough orbitals for rain to help out with that. So we can just do that right here, which I'm hoping once we expose these energy shield blocks again, it can start to recharge itself and then contain the creep a little better. Or it's just one and done, which would be really too bad. Oh, it looks like it is recharging a little bit, but the creep quickly takes it over. So we need to move in and secure that. I got a good feeling about this. Oh, look at that. The crystal is gone. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Yes, unless the creep breaches it again and then it recharges itself, which would be kind of weird. But we're keeping that side very well contained, which is good. Oh, look at that. The shield is starting to recharge. Yes, finally. But it's slowly being dwindled away again. We need to really protect it. If we can get a nullifier attached to that spore launcher, that would be a world of difference. Oh, look at that firing line. And areas of the shield are at full capacity. Beautiful. Look at all these defenses down here that have gone silent because of all the craziness that's gone on. I love it. Oh, the crystal's starting to go down. Oh no, go down more. Get rid of you. Oh yes, this crystal got destroyed. Good. I kind of want to place a pylon right in here because I can reach there. Plus the cannons and mortars are actually protecting that spot. So if we can get our line inside the shield, that would be amazing. Look what we have. We have five orbitals. That's enough for a conversion. Hold on. I need to fix this shield because I have a really bad idea. Man, oh man, look at the anti-creep. It's all the way at this top level here. Ooh, this is good things for us. Okay, now the entire energy shield is back up and running and we have a conversion on our side. Once I drop this, at least over half of these eggs are gonna pop. I'm gonna wait for that stash to collapse actually because that means even more anti-creep on the inside. Okay, there it is in all its glory and drop. And okay, here we go. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That's so much! Ah! Oh, what? And that's filling the sash up so quickly again. Oh, dear. Call down some rain on it as well. Ah! I knew that was a bad idea, but it was worth it. <laughs> Quick, all forces to the front. We will stop this once and for all right here, right now. But, oh, that... Hold on. That only took out 100 eggs? What in the world? Oh, man. Imagine the sniper over here. That's a very, very bad idea. Where did I put it? Hey, buddy. Would you like a field day? A target-rich environment, if you will. I feel like I'm going to have very severe regrets about this. But I will just say no oh, regrets regret. and move on with my day. Egg eruption right now. Suppress everything. Yes. The egg count is down to half of what it was. Or at least, give or take. But let's get the nullifier going down right there. Ooh, it's safe right there. Good. And now we build another pylon right in here. That is a mess of connections is glorious, but that might have been a bit too far forward, or it's actually staying safe. Wow. Close in, destroy them all, and then move the mortars in too. Yes, there's just one emitter left, and it's the one that's protected by all the eggs. Oh dear, this cannon is being a bit overwhelmed here. I moved that way too far forward. Back up, just slightly. Now you're safe. Although it might not be safe if this stash pops again. It's slowing down. We need to get rid of all the creep around it. That means more things need to be moved up. Advance this front as well. Oh dear, it's getting close. It's getting dangerously close. Oh dear, now the creep is shifting over this way. Ah, it popped again. Oh no, cannon, back up, back up, back up, back up. No! Back up these cannons. Okay, the good news is it had a little bit of a cooldown, and now it has to do that all again. So we have time. We have a little bit of time. Thankfully, these emitters are still being nullified, and they're down to less than 40 eggs. I need another pylon over here now that I think about it. Okay, good. We are stopping the stash from collecting, at least mostly. It's slowing down a lot, so we can focus on annihilating all of these eggs. Ooh, the conversion's back. Good. Let's just convert this entire hill. And... Whoop wow! Okay, eggs are popping, but there's so much anti creep in there. I don't think it matters. We just need another nullifier to get in there. Oh, that does it. That does it right there. Let's destroy all the creep first. Or maybe we will by the time this builds. Man, it just got so quiet. That's weird. Do it, do it. Beat the creep, beat the creep. Oh, yes, we did it! We nullified all the enemies, and now it's charging? Oh, the delegate's charging. Oh. What happens when this hits 100? I don't know, but it sounds really cool. And it's a, it's activated. Okay. 
Rift jump. Woo! Whoa! We did it! We did a thing! We beat back the creep! All of it! Oh, that was amazing. Wow. Whoa. Okay. I hit the jump and we did it. Success. Wow. -y. That was three hours of nonstop action. I love it. And if you guys love it and want to see more, then be sure to let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed Creeper World 4. It's an older game, but it looks like a lot of fun, especially fighting liquid physics like we do. So thank you guys very much for watching, and sub to intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Lucas S, Splatter Sax, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drew Belong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, The Miner Within, The Garrity, and Sans.